Hey guys, it's Jordan with JTK Apple here, and today, as you guys asked, I will be doing a full review of Mac OS X Mountain Lion. So as you know, there are many new features, so I will try to cover as many main features as I can in this video. So as you guys know, on the 25th, it was available on the Mac App Store at $19.99. Here, take a look at it, Mac OS X Lion, go ahead and click it. And I'm also going to show you guys some of the new feature and go in depth of detail of each one of them. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at Apple's website and see what are the new features and I will run through each and every one of them and show you guys how they work. Let's go ahead and show you the new features here. So first off, there's a full iCloud integration. So definitely, as you guys may have noticed, it is much more um, in conjunction with their iOS devices as you can sync with your iCloud and I will go into more depth of that. But overall, in this update, Mac OS 10 Mountain Line, you can see there is quite a bit of a connection between that and Mountain Lion and iOS devices. Going down, there's reminders and notes. This also has conjunction with I, um, iCloud as it is very handy because what you can do is if you add a reminder or add a new note on the Mac or the iPhone or whatever devices you have signed in on the same account of iCloud, it will sync between those devices right away. There's now also iMessage on the Mac, which is very, very handy. One of the most favorite features that I have seen on Mac OS X Mountain Lion. Another thing that also has conjunction with the iOS line of iOS 5 and the coming iOS 6 later this year is Notification Center. Moving down, there's also the Power Nap, which is available on only the newer um, Intel process devices, um, Macs, and that allows you to pretty much update your um, mail, contacts, iCloud stuff um, while the device is in sleep. And another cool feature is voice dictation, which I will be showing you guys later. There is also sharing, which you can share straight from Safari. Facebook integration, which is probably going to come in an update later this fall when the iOS devices will also have a Facebook integration. Right now, there's only a Twitter integration. Twitter. And there's also an AirPlay where you can AirPlay your Mac to the TV. Game Center, also seen on iOS devices. Gatekeeper, which pretty much senses the um, malicious software before you download it. As you know, there were some small problems with um, malware on the MacBooks or Mac-based operating systems lately. And one of my favorite new features is Safari, which I have to say looks a lot like Google Chrome, which has been used by quite a few people. It has come to be one of the most popular operating systems, and I have to say it definitely does look a lot like Google Chrome, and I really like the way it's been improved. All new features for China. And let's go ahead and take a look at it starting from the top. So one of the biggest new features is iCloud integration in Mac OS X Mountain Lion, which pretty much lets you sign in um, on your iCloud account or your iTunes account and let you sync information between devices. So here you can take a look at this, mail, contacts, you got to pick what you would like selected and pretty much I have signed in on my iPhone 4, so for example, if I add a new reminder on my iPhone, it would show up on this as it is also signed into the same account, which is really great and I think it works very, very well. Let's go ahead and open up reminders, and there are the reminders I just added on my iPhone. Definitely very, very helpful, um, which is great that you can sync between your devices real time and keep up with what you need to between your devices. This also works with other things like calendar or notes. Um, if I add a note on my iPhone, if it's signed in on my Mac, it will automatically also show up. One new feature is also iMessage integration, which pretty much allows you to send messages between iOS and MacBook, Mac, uh, Mac OS X Mountain Lion users on your computer, which is definitely very, very handy. So let's go ahead and just send a text message or send an iMessage here. And there you go. So there isn't really much to this, but the fact that it's a great feature that I really like on the new update, and it's definitely very handy um, to be able to send iMessages on your computer. So one new feature on Mac OS X Mountain Lion is Notification Center. So if you are an iOS device user and have iOS 5, you're definitely very familiar with this. The fact that there's a drop down that you just need to slide down and your notifications are right there and you gotta set what you wanna be notified for. So I have to say this is definitely very useful and something I was really happy to see when it was announced on iOS 5 and now on Mac OS X Mountain Lion. It's rather self-explanatory. Pretty much um, it just shows you your notifications that you set you wanna be notified for. As you can see, here's the mail and the reminders and they all just show up on the tab. So whenever you wanna see what you set notifications for, uh, or keep organized, you just need to click the notification bar and it'll tell you some of your reminders, your emails you just received, your calendar um, events, and so on. 
So one of the best features, in my opinion, was Safari. So as you know, Google Chrome is a very, very popular internet browser, and it's used by many, many people. And it, I, in my opinion, it has seen to be one of the preferred um, internet browsers used by consumers. So I have to say that the new Safari 6 looks a lot like Google Chrome. As you can see, there isn't a separate search bar and browser tab bar. It's merged into one now, and I did find it to be significantly faster and there are also some other cool features such as a share where you can add to reading list add a bookmark email this page me message it and twitter and later this year there will also be facebook integration on both mac os 10 and also ios there is also another cool feature that if you set on your iphone um to have safari um open then you can go ahead and check what browser is open on your other devices from directly from safari and maybe navigate to that page one of the coolest features is the fact that you can also save pages to be read offline. So let's go ahead and go to NHL.com. Yes, I'm a huge hockey fan. Let's go ahead and look at an article here. And for example, I might have to leave and I don't have time to read this article, but I would love to read it later. But there may not be Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead and just hit the reader, add the page. And it's going to go ahead and save it for offline reading. Just give it a second there. It's going to download the page depending on how much stuff's on it. And pretty much just let me go ahead and turn off the Wi-Fi and unplug the internet here. And there, let's go ahead and see the fact that I have no internet connection. Let's go ahead and tap that. And there you can see my page is fully readable. And I can go ahead and read the article. So this is definitely a really good feature by Apple. I think it's just... the. Safari browser is probably, in my opinion, the best new update of Mac OS X Mountain Lion. And most importantly, let's go ahead and show you guys the speed of this. Um, I do find a su significant speed comparison compared to the old Safari. So there, as you can see, it's much more faster. Maybe it's just an animation, but in my opinion, I think it's much smoother. And overall, they did everything right with the new Safari 6. One other change in Mac OS X Mountain Lion is the feature that is voice dictation. So let's go ahead and show you guys this. You can go ahead and configure it, dictation and speech, so on. Pick your voice and how to activate it. Um, so let's go ahead and show you guys how this works. Go ahead and open Microsoft Word. And let's go ahead and just give it a test. This is my test of Mac OS X Mountain Lion. So there you go. As you can see, it works very, very well. It's pretty fast, and it did actually recognize everything. So I think this is a great feature. I'm not sure if many people will use it, kind of like Siri. Um, I think people are just so used to using the regular features and so used to the keyboard as you have it in front of you. But I think it's an added bonus that definitely works pretty well. So that's pretty much it for my review slash overview of Mac OS X Mountain Lion. I literally only have 23 hours to go ahead and take a look at this as I just got back from camp last night. So I tried my best to cover the most things I can. But to cap it off, I have to say, if you have an iOS device, this is very, very seamless. If you do not have an iOS device, it's still some added features that you may like, such as the notes, the reminders, the notification center works great, and now you have iMessage. But overall, I think the iCloud has really been sharpened up if you are using an existing iOS device. My favorite feature, in my opinion, is the new Safari browser. I think it's really sharpened up and lived up to expectations for people who are even using Google Chrome who have used that as a preferred web browser for a while. It's definitely been speeded up. I like the way the tab looks on the top. I like the offline reading idea. I think that definitely works very well. There's also the added AirPlay feature, which is also a weighted feature that has been seen on iOS devices. And there's also the voice dictation, which I didn't really expect to come on this, but it definitely works very well and it's pretty fast. So to cap it off, for $19.99, um, it's definitely very, very popular right now. About 3% of the Mac users have upgraded to it in the first 48 hours. But in my opinion, I think it's a great operating system and from the users, first impressions have really enjoyed it. So definitely go check it out. I'll see you in my next video. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button below. If you would like to be notified of future content, please subscribe.